All right, friends. So in this next experiment, we're gonna be using two different types of fuel. We're gonna be using a solid, which we have is our paper towels, and we're also gonna use a liquid. So we have solid and a liquid, again, as our fuel source. So we're gonna saturate our paper towels with this lighter fluid, and we have our paper towels in there ready to go. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to add our flame. So we're gonna use this match here, and light that, perfect. So we have a good combustion reaction. Now I'm gonna add this giant cage over the top of our uh, flame here. So we're gonna latch this on, get it nice and tight, perfect. And it is very important that we use our safety gloves. So I'm gonna put these on before we get started. Now we see we have a nice flame in the center of our cage. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin the base here and this cage is gonna spin as well. And you can see that the shape of our flame is changing and the flame is actually growing taller. So we're getting a taller flame and it has that cool spinning vortex shape. Now, you may be wondering, what is this giant cage doing? It's actually funneling oxygen to our flame. So we're getting a bigger reaction. So our flame's growing the more oxygen we have. Now, when I stop spinning, our flame gets much smaller and we don't have that cool spinning vortex shape. So when we add more oxygen and this cage funnels in oxygen, we get a bigger flame, a bigger combustion reaction. And when we stop spinning and we have less oxygen, it's a smaller flame. So I want you to think for a minute, how could we take away all of the oxygen. We need to extinguish this flame and we need to take away all the oxygen. I have a good idea. We're gonna use this big cup here, this glass, and we're going to smother it. We're going to cover the flame and we're gonna take away all of the oxygen and our flame goes away. Because we know, we've talked about it before in our last experiments, we have to have oxygen for our combustion reaction. And if we don't have oxygen, our flame goes out. So you may hear sometimes firefighters say, stop, drop, and roll. It's exactly why. We wanna take away the oxygen. So even if you're at home and there's a kitchen fire, instead of splashing water, you may spread the flame. You wanna to try to cover it and take away the oxygen because we know we need oxygen, heat, and fuel source to have a combustion reaction.